Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Brent Lavelle. I'm the International Outreach um, and Partnership Manager for Pierce College. And I have my two colleagues here, Kate Stripmatter, who is an International Outreach Specialist, and Susan Taylor, who is the CVIS Manager for Pierce College District. And, and we're here to um, provide you a, a presentation on, on how you could explore getting a high school diploma and an associate degree in a combination in the Washington State uh, Community College systems. And we're gonna use Pierce College as an example. It's what we know best, but there's some 27 different community colleges throughout Washington State. And about half of those offer this high school diploma. And um, community college is quite a good option for international students because of the personal service that you receive and the focus on the student's success and smaller classes. And um, in fact, nearly 50% of Americans start their college uh, programs in community colleges by testing out different degrees. And as you'll see, the courses transfer and you can achieve your bachelor's degree. And, um, and this program can give you a head start by achieving your high school diploma before you even have your um, associate degree, you could be working on on uh, courses that work towards a high school degree, or you could just wait and complete your high school or your associate degree and receive your high school diploma. So um, we'll get into that a little deeper, but um, just want to welcome you and um, please ask questions. This is a great opportunity for you to ask really about anything related to the higher education in the U.S. We're happy to answer that. And um, so we welcome you and thank you to the US Consulate in Vietnam and Education USA Center there too for putting this together. And here we go. And all the community colleges have a campus. We're not a single building in the middle of the, the city. There's, there's typically a campus life there. And it's, you could kind of consider it a junior university. Everything is offered there that you would find at a university, but at a smaller level. And these are two of our campuses. Um, they, you know, they tend to be multi-complexed and there's a science center and a, a, um, some other centers that you can explore for biology or business. And um, each building offers a lot of um, open air and an open opportunity to sit and study and meet with your friends and enjoy a campus life. And um, the community college system in Washington state is fully state run and fully accredited by the state. And what that means to you really is it's a public institution. So there's a lot of trust that can be uh, given to this public institution that really was developed to help the students succeed in their academic interest. And so whatever courses you take with us, whatever degree program you take, likely that program already has an articulation with many universities to join and to transfer to very seamlessly. So our system is very solid, it's trustworthy, and it's built for the student. We were established in uh, 1967, and so not that long ago, really, compared to many schools in the U.S., but, um, but the intent was to train the local population to um, get a job and to work and get a degree at the same time. And so the flexibility of the community college system is very important. Um, we have classes all through the day. You don't just come at eight and leave at five. You might have two courses one day and three another day. And there's a, there's a very dynamic experience happening there. So for really one of the most important things for you to think about is uh, the service that you're gonna get when you apply. Um, most of the colleges have an international program that you're gonna to have to contact and you have to explore, you know, what are they gonna do for you? How much service are they gonna provide? Because it's scary going overseas and there's a lot of intricacies that you're gonna need assistance with and you're gonna to have to learn about the US system. So, um, and again, this is just an example of our international program, but most of the colleges have a similar international program at different scales. For us, we have you know, roughly 200 international students in our English and our 
in our college programs uh, from all over the world. I can say a great deal of them are from Vietnam, but Japan, Kenya, um, Kazakhstan, Russia, uh, Colombia recently, and Mexico, they're from all over the world. And so there's a great dynamic there of cultures. And uh, in fact, this is International uh, Student Week, so, or Education Week. So we just had a cultural event that was really interesting, watching people cook and talk about food. And we learned a great deal actually about the food in Vietnam and how amazing it is. But um, we've also had a chance to taste that. So we're looking forward to getting back and visiting. Uh, roughly, we have about 20,000 students across the district, which is made up of four different campuses. And here's just a, kind of just an array of buildings. Um, this is, again, pretty typical of a community college that you'll see, but the library up in the left corner is really important. The libraries in these colleges are exceptional. And you'll find you know, free Wi-Fi there. You'll find resources from research around the globe. Um, there's a writing center, a tutor center. Uh, we're gonna go into that a little bit deeper. But, um, but it's really important to know that there's a place to study while you're studying abroad. Okay. Okay, and now I thanks, Brent. We'll go ahead. <laughs> so our main focus today is going to be about one of our very popular programs called High School Completion Program. And now this is a program where you as high school students can enroll in college classes, achieve a two year associate's degree, and then automatically earn your high school diploma from the United States. So it's a degree and a diploma in one. To be eligible for the high school completion program, you must be at least 16 years old and have not yet finished high school. Now you don't need to take any extra classes for this program. So it's a great way to save money and time as you earn credits towards a bachelor's degree. So if you want to, and your parents want to, you can finish your high school diploma in the United States by taking college classes and earning credits towards a college degree. For example, if you start your two-year associate degree through the high school completion program and transfer to a university, you could actually achieve your bachelor's degree by the age of 20, which a lot of our students have. So it's very possible. There are two tracks or paths that you could take if you want to finish your high school diploma at a community college in the United States. So first, let's talk about track A. This is the more common option and what I just described. You can complete an associate degree and automatically receive a US high school diploma. You can choose from an associate degree, um, of any major or academic discipline. For example, at Pierce, we have six different pathways that show a variety of majors that students can study, such as art, humanities and communication, business, education, healthcare, the STEM fields and social and behavioral sciences and public services. Now, in case you're wondering about what specific majors fall into these pathways, here's a full chart. Um, as you can see, there are so many options on different majors that you can study, and any one of these majors will allow you to automatically receive your US high school diploma when you complete your two-year associate degree. Last to choose from. So track B, is a little different than track A. With both tracks, you take college level courses and achieve your high school diploma. However, with track B, we will evaluate your high school transcripts to determine what courses are missing for you to achieve your high school diploma, and then you would complete the required courses. This is a great option for students who want to receive their high school diploma first and then start applying to a university early. So for example, maybe you only have one year of high school left. We can evaluate your transcripts and just take the courses at Pierce College that are needed for you to achieve a high school diploma 
possibly in just one year rather than enrolling in a two year associate degree program and receiving your high school diploma after those two years. So you could get your high school diploma quicker in this track. Um, you also may decide that you want to apply directly to a university in the United States after you receive your high school diploma and you don't want the associate degree, that's fine too. And our advisors help students with that process if that's what they're interested in. So for students that are interested in the two plus two university transfer program, students start by enrolling in the high school completion or associate degree program. After two years, when you achieve the associate's degree, you can transfer to a university typically as a third year student. So the third year into your four year bachelor's degree. As an example, um, I've listed here several of our university partners and all community colleges in the United States partner with universities. This is just a list of some of our partners. And what this means is that we have agreements with these universities that if you achieve high grades and meet their requirements and apply to these universities as a Pierce College student, they'll accept you to their program. Of course, you're not limited to just our partner universities. So if you have another university in mind, you're free to apply to those universities as well. Um, here are some of the other highly ranked universities that our recent graduates have transferred to. University of Washington, Columbia, NYU, uh, UCLA, some really great universities. Our graduates get accepted to really great universities after they achieve their associate, associate's degree every year. Um, but transferring right away isn't the only option for students. And Susan is going to tell you a little bit about optional practical training. Yes, thank you, Kate. So if you're interested in getting some work experience in the United States, you can do that under the optional practical training program. So just a little background, as an F1 student visa holding student, uh, or F1 student visa holding students are not allowed to work off campus unless they have special permission from the government. And that special permission comes under the OPT program. It's a benefit for F1 students in the US and you apply through the government um, to get this benefit to get your work authorization card. It allows international students to work for one year after graduating with their associate's degree. There's also an option to do it before you graduate, but the most common pathway is to do it after you graduate. Um, the only caveat is that the work you do has to be related to your field of study. So if you graduate with an associate's in business, then you can work in a business field um, after you graduate. You can work more than one job, you can move out of state. Um, it's really quite flexible. And again, you can get up to one year after your associate's degree. You can do OPT again after completing a bachelor degree. So the rule is that you can do OPT after each education level. And um, so doing an associate level first actually gives you extra opportunities if you do want to gain work experience in the US, because you can do it after your associate's degree, and then again after you get your bachelor degree. One thing I think that sets Pierce College apart is that we offer one on one help with the OPT application process. That's a big role that I play. Um, if you're interested in OPT, I, I meet one on one with students and I walk them through the process. Um, and it's a great option too for students if you if you're not quite sure where you want to apply to university, or you want to take a little time off to really think about and work on your university applications. Um, you can do OPT, you know, as a gap year in between your associates and your bachelor's degree. Right, next slide. Um, 
So in addition to offering help with OPT applications, we offer a lot of broad-based services in our department. Um, Brent mentioned earlier, we have about 200 international students out of a, a campus of 20,000. Um, we also have a pretty big international student advising staff. You have Kate, you have Brent, you have me, and then we have a lot of different advisors um, who you'll meet after you arrive here. We have two dedicated academic advisors that can help you plan your courses, plan your university transfer, give you advice. Um, so we help you with that. But even before that, I should back up. We help you. Um, we help you with your application. We give you one-on-one -on -one support um, when applying. We can help you with visa preparation. One thing that um, we all do is we can set up a Zoom appointment with you at a time that's convenient for you and do some practice visa interview work. We offer housing. So we have two main housing options. Um, you can do a homestay or we have a residence hall that's really close to campus. We offer free airport pickup. So if you arrive on our designated day, which we'll tell you about, you will be picked up um, at the airport and taken to your either your homestay or the residence hall. We offer a full orientation. Um, so when you get here, we will work with you to make sure you're all set up for success will help you, you know, navigate the different um, online, online accounts that you have and your online classrooms, um, in addition to just really talking you, to you about American life and American culture and things you need to know. You know, how do you get a driver's license if you want one? Um, where can you go and buy some Vietnamese food? Um, we incorporate that into our orientation. I mentioned academic advising. So again, we have two academic advisors whose full-time job it is, is to help our international students. And it can be um, not only academic advising, but if you need help finding a doctor, or if you need help um, in buying a car if you wanted to, or help with housing, um, really any sort of help you might have. If you're feeling culture shock, um, if something happens to you and uh, something about American culture that you have a question, you, you, you didn't understand something that your host family said, come and talk to us. That's what we're here for, um, our international advisors. We also, uh, Brent mentioned this, we have free tutoring. And our tutoring center is, I think, one of the highlights of Pierce College. Um, we have free academic tutoring and peer mentoring. So maybe you're not, you know, maybe you don't even need help with a specific subject, but you want to connect with a mentor to figure out um, how to succeed in an American classroom. We can, um, we can match you with, with peer tutors, um, as well as we have a writing center that Brent mentioned that can help you with all of your English writing. We have a 24 hour emergency phone and um, we have access and disability services. And just in general, the whole college is really committed to seeing our students succeed. There's okay. a question on, oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Susan, I just thought there is a question um, in the chat box. We had a, a couple good comments, mm -hmm. somebody interested and somebody mentioning it looks like a great school um it appreciate is. that but also <laughs> um wondering if this is offered in different states as well and i just wanted to chime in that there are a couple of other states in the u.s so you should really investigate i know new york offers it and it's either missouri or um uh, she's one of the states in the south there <laughs> has it as well but i don't know if they have the same option um, of getting an associate degree and uh, achieving the high school diploma. You'd have to check into that. We're just really familiar with more of the Washington system here and our rules and regulations. 
I do know that California does not have a high school diploma option. So if you are interested in university in California, I know that's a popular destination. Um, they, the state of California doesn't have this option, but we have a lot of students who do the high school completion with us and then transfer to university in California. Yeah. Great questions. Thank you so much for your questions. Um, all right. And we can talk a little bit about application, I think, in the specifics um, later, because I know we had a question about that too. Um, but a little bit more about what happens when you're a student at Pierce College. So activities in campus life. We have over 20 student clubs. Um, and the, the great thing I think about our student clubs is they're definitely student led. Um, you have a, a staff or a faculty advisor, but we have an office of student life that um, really has dedicated people to help students um, get going with clubs. It's, it offers really great leadership opportunities. We have a conversation partner program where you can be matched with an American student to help you learn more about culture, to have that exchange, um, to practice English. We have service learning opportunities. That's a high priority of Pierce College, um, getting out there and performing community service. We have student government. And, and the really cool thing about that is that they're actually paid positions. So I mentioned as an F1 international student, you're not allowed to work off campus, but you can get a job on campus part time. And that's often a great way to network and kind of um, build up your relationships with people on campus. And then, you know, we have dances, we have performing arts group, we have a really active um, Wadaiko club, so a Japanese drumming, and we have a lot of international students and domestic students from all over who participate in that club. Um, so there's, there's a lot to do. We also as an international student department, um, we organize trips to Seattle, shopping trips. Um, we might take you, uh, we might take students in January to um, a mountain where they can go sledding in the snow. We do a lot of fun things like that. Okay, so I know a lot of you might be thinking, how much does it cost to go to college in the United States? The good news is that attending a community college is much less expensive than going to university. Um, you can look into the university tuition and look at Pierce College, and by doing your first two years at community college, you'll save tens of thousands of US dollars. So this gives you just an idea of what our tuition is. And our tuition and fees, um, it's, it's about a little over $10,000 for an academic year, and that's nine months. Just by comparison, uh, University of Washington, Seattle, that number is going to be closer to 40,000 US dollars for an academic year. Um, there's some other university options too. We have students transfer to Central Washington University. They actually have an office on campus. They're going to be maybe about 23 or 24 thousand dollars for an academic year. But no matter how you look at it, the community college tuition is, um, you know, a third or a fourth of the tuition cost that a university is. We're on all of the social medias. So if you want more information, feel free to look us up. Um, we have a lot of pictures from this week from all of our different International Education Week events that we've been having on campus. And then um, we have our email addresses there as well. And, um, and then really, if you have some questions and just wanna reach out and you're not sure, feel free to contact us. We're happy to um, answer any questions. We're not gonna put you on some giant marketing list and try and talk you into anything. We're, we're here to help. And, uh, and we enjoy our jobs that way, working for the state where you can actually just help the student, help the customer and help them be successful. And that's what you, you'll see a lot of that at community colleges, especially in Washington, where they're very 
um, they're structured to help international students actually. So take the benefit. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you.